Um, when, before I go out into the tundra, what do you need me to check on? I said we're doing loan draws. Yeah, I need you to let me know what's going on at these three jobs, if you would. Okay. And then, what are you doing this weekend? I usually take naps on the couch. Why? What am I missing out on? You cannot have any plans this weekend because you get to do your continuing education oh, all weekend. Oh, I will be sleeping. So oh, I'm going to give you your login oh, my. and I want you to log in. I have to do my so keep, for my real estate license. license. <laughs> I have to keep up on the education. Like, every two years I got to take a class. I swear it comes and around. And we like, always wait till the end. Yeah, it feels like two years goes around like two months. So, yeah. All right. You're, so you're doing that all weekend because well, you, you got to finish it by next week. That does not sound like so. much fun, Bronwyn. <laughs> I so, know. All right. Good Make, I'm make all right. So today I'm going to show you how I do loan draws on all my houses and because I've been spending so much time at Flares, I got to go check out all my other job sites. So stay tuned. And Bronwyn, I'm not going to be studying all weekend for real estate classes. I'll do that another day. So today I have to do a loan draw on a home that's just about two weeks away from being completed. And what a loan draw is, is I have a list of items that make up the entire house. So we go through and check off the work that's been done. It's a percentage of the house. Let's say the painting's been done, which I'm sure it is, that might equal two and a half percent of the cost of the house. So I will go through, make sure all this gets done. I'll report this back to Bronwyn, and then she will notify the homeowner and the banker that we're putting in a request for final payment. So let's go inside and see how far we are from being completed. Hopefully we can get everybody paid here real soon. Okay. All right guys, got my punch list and we're at a stage right now that it looks like it's at least a month and a half away, but we'll have this house all done in about two weeks. So this list that I have here makes up all the pieces that builds a home. Right now we're at the finish stage, so I have a few more boxes to check, and one of them is, are the cabinets in? As you can see, they are in. Once the cabinets go in, the countertops, that's the next stage, and they are in, but they're all protected, which is great. I always wanna protect those things. Guys use them for a place to put their toolboxes and such on, so cardboard and all that is protected. Then we are able to get the backsplash, so that's another item on here. The tile backsplash is completed, and what I'm looking for here is to make sure it's all the edges are finished and it's been caulked across the back edge. That looks really nice. And you'll notice we have these wires hanging down. We put under counter lights and we also put outlets in there. You'll see this backsplash is nice and clean and simple. This will get outlets, this will be lighting, and also that tells me I can't get in for the final electrical. We have, hey Tom, don't you know I'm filming here? You're making all kinds of noise. Your glasses are steaming up. Can you see me? <laughs> Where are you at? Are you next door trimming? Yeah, here and, here and there. Okay, I'll come by and see you on, on that job. So, okay. all right. So anyway, before Tom made all that noise and had to get his face on camera, we do not have the finished electrical. You'll see this little wire is the like the low voltage lighting strip light that will go underneath here to illuminate the undercounter. But you'll notice I don't have any outlets on this backsplash, and that's done on purpose because see how this pretty tile. If we cut into this and put a box, it would really disrupt the flow. So this yellow wire is what's going to have an outlet underneath the cabinets. One time I did this on a house and the homeowner called, was so mad that I forgot all the outlets in his kitchen. He wanted to box my, my ears. And I finally called him back and said, just look underneath your cabinets. And he said, oh, okay, never got a sorry but I, I got to Okay. Thanks. Those are features that we point out in the very beginning with people because when they do do these beautiful backsplashes, it is not interrupted. It looks awesome. Another thing we're missing in our kitchen, this is a hood. We're missing the liner. We're also missing all the appliances. I've been told by Bronwyn that they're coming this afternoon. So I will swing back around and make sure that they do get delivered and they're in the house. Also, the big part of the kitchen is the plumbing. So we have the sink in place, which we have to have for the countertops, but we do not have any of the faucets installed. So that's an item that I need to get a phone call on. Hardware is another. Hardware is consists of all the stuff on the cabinets, but also it's the towel bars, it's the toilet paper holders, and I don't know if those are in yet, so I'll be checking that as well. So as we make our way over towards the great room, you can see the fireplace is in and done. We got a protective cardboard over this. They still have to come back and put all this together. You'll see, I can probably take this down now. 
So we'll call up our fireplace guys. They'll come in and what they do is a fireplace startup. They'll put the logs in here, turn on the gas, burn off all that new smell because it doesn't smell good when you first start them up. But the fireplace is in, it's all working. So I'm able to check the fireplace off my list because this is done, it's installed. The startup requires the guys to put the logs in and then there's a cover plate that covers all this up to finish it all off. And here it is, it's up above. So that does not happen until the very end. And there's a reason for that because it, we don't want it to get damaged. So I can go ahead and check that one off my list and get those guys paid. And another one on here is the, the flooring. That's all been done. I wanna take a walk through here. I remember they did the tile in the bathrooms. I wanna see if anything's left over on that. The doors, we don't install the doors until the carpet gets installed because the carpet guys will take the doors off anyway. So we just tend to move these from room to room. Carpet will come towards the very, very end. The last sub to leave this house is the way I've been doing it is the painter because there's already somebody coming through banging into the walls, rubbing her coat up against it. So the painter's final coat will go on about a day and a half before the homeowners move in. So here I am in the master. They got this all covered up, which I'm assuming, let me take a quick look here. That's all done and that's, they have it all taped off because it's all done and they don't want any paint to get in there. So the master bathroom, it's a little bit of a mess. We got to clean it all up. And that seems to be part of construction. You clean up the house, two days later, it's a mess again. But the countertops are on. Those are all well protected. So we need to get the mirrors, the electrician back here, the plumber back here. Then we'll be able to finish up with the carpet and the homeowners paint, we paint and they move in. So the nice thing about these jobs is that they're literally right next door to each other. So I'm gonna head over here and check on Tom as he's finishing up the uh, pool house. I'm sure the pool's closed up by now because winter hit here in a hurry. It's been in the teens. So you can see we've got the whole front covered up and they're starting to put the stone on and they have to have it at a certain temperature. It can't be freezing. So inside there, it should be pretty warm, but we'll walk around back and get inside and see how things are going. All right, so as you can see, Pool's frozen and it's closed for the, for the year. Let's come inside and check on the trimmers. Lunch time. What, wait, my door, <laughs> and snoozing. So Tom, what are we, uh, <laughs> he's always sleeping on the job. Oh. Tom, wake up, wake up. Uh-oh, back to work, here comes the homeowner. Hello, Al. I want to take a look and see, good, I want to see how your stone's coming along. Tom's got nothing to say, so I'm moving on to something more interesting. It's nice and warm in here. All right, so we're inside the, the tarp. It's nice and warm. What they're doing is skim coating the entire house. So they put this wire mesh up, put a coating of like a concrete skim coat. And then here's their whole box. Remember that, these are the flats. We got a lot of flats on this house. So this stone is the exact same stone on the home next door because we want this house to look like a mini me. That's what this is gonna be. The guest house is going to resemble the main house just on a smaller scale. So same front door, same stone, same color paint. Because it's so cold outside, you guys may not have noticed this, they're using this flamethrower, warming up the brick. Yeah. All right. That's another winter condition that you never thought we'd have to deal with here in Nebraska. Okay, so I got a punch list for this house as well. And then, but that I have in my hand here is my loan draw sheet. So I'm making sure all this work has gotten done and then I'll let Al know and hopefully he'll give me a check. Let's go, all right. I should show Tom my new toy, my horn. Oh, no. Yeah, <laughs> maybe I'll surprise you Tom when I come back to check on your work. Get busy. Oh, that Tom. So I'm gonna end my day heading to the uh, grocery store. I'm gonna pick up some coffee and donuts for Alex and his crew. They're out there working in this cold weather. So if I can fill them up full of donuts and hot coffee, that should help them get through the rest of the day. All right, I'm gonna grab a dozen donuts for Alex and the boys. Can't go wrong with a, what are these called? Glazed? Yeah, this <laughs> glazed donut. I'm an apple fritter guy, They're, I don't see any. Am I supposed to be using a, a towel to grab these things? Oh, now it's official. All right, they're gonna kick, you out. They're gonna kick me out of here. here. I just got yeah. They go, hey, he's back. The guy that licks his fingers and takes bites out of donuts and puts them back. I've never done that. 
Let's hope they don't totally count. Gee. All right, I got my coffee and donuts. Let's go to the job site and see if these guys are ready for a break. Tango, donuts, si cafe. I'm practicing my Spanish because I don't see Alex here to help interpret, but I want to tell these guys I have coffee and donuts for them. And according to my phone, it Tengo says, donas y cafe. Tango, donuts, si cafe. So let's go see if that works. Okay, amigos. <laughs> we got uh, Tienes, donuts, si cafe. Did I say that right? Tienes, donuts, si cafe, right? Donuts and coffee. Yeah, donuts and coffee. I did it. What do you like, my horn? You ready for a little break? Got some coffee? Yeah, all right, all right. Oh, there's a table over there. Let's go over here. Got the old reliable job site table. Got a horn. Let's see, I'll leave it all right here. Let these guys give her a go. Let's get a little quick walkthrough and see what we got here, guys. This is the hallway. I think the hallways are close to five and a half foot wide and the ceilings go up to the minimum's 10 foot and the highest in the house goes up 16 feet. That's the entryway all the way through the house. There's a lot of lumber in here, probably more than what we have in Flair's house. Maybe, I'm not sure. So here is the big grand entry. And then this entryway transfers all the way through. We've got a lot of lumber in the way, but then we've raised those windows up a bit. So that ceiling is 16 foot high and it looks all the way out into the tree. So. There's no need for window coverings on the back of this house because that's north and there's trees and there's no neighbors. So it'll be privacy all the time and wide open views. It's gonna be spectacular. So even as cold as it is, these guys are getting a lot of work done. They've started on the second floor. They're uh, extremely busy. They know I got the coffee and donuts. I set it in place. So I'll come back when Alex is here to go over any details, but I love it when they're working like this. There's a lot of house to get done and they're making really good progress. So there's a lot going on here. These guys are making tremendous progress. If you see, just about three weeks ago, we were just starting framing, the foundation was put in. So the garage is where they started, and now they're already on the second floor. I'll keep you abreast of what's going on as we make more and more progress. It'll go quick at the framing stage. So I'm gonna head back to the office, meet with Bronwyn, go over what I found out on my checklist so I can start getting some money, pay all the guys. So thanks for watching. I'm Brad the Builder, I'll see you at the next job site. <laughs>